Okay, so now, with the list we just made, we have, we have ni a nice little list and then I added one to the list. So, the smallest integer with this number of factors. With one factor is just one. Two factors, two. Three factors, four. And how can we write four as a product of primes? Because it's two squared. Smallest integer with four factors is six, which is two times three, two times three. Two to the one times three to the one, and see, two times two is four. Four. Sixteen is two times two times two to the fourth. Two to the fourth. So the only way to get five is, is just add one here, right? Yep. Six is twelve, which is which is two times two times three. So 6 is 3 times 2. Remember we're always adding 1. 7 uh, is 64, which is 2 to the 6th. Yep, which is... 20, 24. How do I get 8? Well, it's, it's 2 to the... It's 2 cubed times 3. 3, three to the 1. So, three, or so 4, four times, times 2, two is, is 8. What's 36? 3... three cubed, wait, it's not, no, it's 3 squared times 2 squared, 2 squared times 3 squared, Which? so 3 times 3 is 9. To get 10, I need a product probably of what? Maybe 2 and 5. 2 and 5, so what's 48? 48 is 16 times 3, or? Or 2 to the 4th times 3. 3. To the 1, so 5 times 2 is 10. 10. Okay, now, this pattern suggests that the smallest, the, when I stop at 10, it suggests that the prime factors of the smallest integer with any given number only have what num only have what primes? Only have twos and threes. Twos and threes, but that's a little misleading. So I did want to show you 60. And how does 60 factor into well, primes? It's, it's, you, you would definitely have a 5. Oh, sorry, yeah, you definitely have a 5. It's 5 times what? It's 5 times 12. Times 12. So, and 12 is 2, two, two, two squared. 2 squared times 3 times 5. Okay, so I get 3 times 2 times 2, right? Yeah. To get 12. Yep. Okay. So that's interesting. So I have lots of 2s, lots of 3s. And here I got a 5, and now... We're looking to find ways to multiply to get to 100. Now, what numbers should I use, do you think, to multiply to get to 100? Well, maybe we should get numbers that are fairly close to each other. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, I know that I know that 2 squared times 5 squared. 2 squared times 5 squared is 100. So what, what primes can I multiply to get to 100? Well, you have... Twos two, and fives. Two times two times five times five. And that suggests for powers, what numbers do I need in the powers? Just ones. Well, one's there and four is there. Okay. So what do you think is a good number that's going to have fourth powers and first powers? Look at, look at the pattern and see if you can think where I'm going to... And again, I'm trying to get the smallest number that has 100 well, factors. Well, here's... You don't have much, you only have two numbers with fourth powers in them. Yeah. And six does have two first powers. That nice. might line up. Well, what number, what prime do you think is going to need a fourth power? Remember, we're trying to keep it as small as possible. So do you think the prime I should use is, maybe, you know, 29? I, I think two. Okay, so maybe two to the fourth. Which is 16. Which is 16. Okay. Now I've got another fourth power so I, I need go, to use. I would go with 3. 3 to the fourth. E, I think it's E81. Okay, now I need some first powers. Hmm. Mm, so maybe 5 and 7. Okay. Whatever this number is, 2 to the fourth times 3 to the fourth times 5 to the 1 times 7 to the 1, that's going to have 100 factors. Yeah. Now the question is, is it the smallest? Hmm. Because another way I could do this is maybe I could do 10 times 10, maybe 2 to the 10th times 3 to the 10th. Oh, sorry, I would need 9th powers, right? 
times yeah, 6. 2 to the ninth. 2 to the ninth times 3 to the ninth would also have 100 factors, right? Yeah. So the question is, which, which is bigger? Well, 2 to the ninth is already 5 twelfths. Okay. And then 3 to the ninth is a really big number. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I do have some big numbers over here, so we've got to figure out which is bigger. 2 to the 4th times 3 to the 4th times 5 to the 1 times 7 to the 1, or on this side we'll have 2 to the 9th times 3 to the 9th. Well, you can cancel a 2 to the 4th times 3 to the 4th. Okay, so on this side it's going to leave 5 to the 1 times 7 to the 1, which is easy. Which What is 5 times 7? 35. 35, and on this side I'm going to have 2 to the 5th and times... 3 to the 5th. I now, is that bigger than 35? By a lot. By a lot. 2 to the 5th alone is 32. Right. And 3 to the 5th is not going to add. It's is bigger going, than 9. It's going to add <laughs> more than 3. Yeah. Okay. So, our conjecture is this number, whatever it is, 2 to the 4th times 3 to the 4th times 5 to the 1 times 7 to the 1, ends up being the smallest number with 100 factors. Okay. Now, well, first we got to figure out what this number is, yeah. and then let's see if Mathematica agrees with us. Yeah. Okay. So back to the computer. <laughs>